All right, guys, I'm itching to sing. I really want to sing and perform. I love performing, as you all know. I have 9,700 videos, so in order to have that many videos, you must really love performing. It's obviously a passion of mine. It's very obvious. Uh, it's very interesting to me. I really love sharing that with the world. I love being a part of the uh, entertainment world. To me, it's really thrilling. It's, it's kind of like, you know, uh, very blissful, very awesome, peaceful, uh, action-packed and fun, entertaining, uh, wild, crazy, cool, uh, summery, wintry. It's all, it's all these amazing things that I really enjoy. So I'm really grateful to you guys for watching my channel. Um, so I want you to um, check out the good videos, okay? So if you're a new subscriber, please check out the good videos. Some videos are not good, I have to say, all right? I put up 9,600 videos, so when you're watching a video, you might be like, oh, or maybe it's just not your type of video. Maybe maybe you like the face ones on, that are on location and not the studio covers or the studio videos. I love the studio videos. For me, the studio videos are it. They're like the bees and knees of my videos. But some people don't like those videos. Some people like my face videos on location or or they like a video because I look better in that video than I do in other ones. Or they like a video because I'm dancing to a song they like and they don't like the other songs. Or or they like, you know, all my videos but they prefer some over there. And that's obviously common sense and that most people know that a person cannot perform videos without having videos that are not good. Obviously that's common sense but I, you know, there are people that when you when you go onto a channel and you see a video and you're thinking, hmm, I'm not sure if this is a good singer or an entertainer. Well, that's because you're not watching other videos. They've got lots of really, really good ones. So you have to watch all of them to see, yes, this one's really, really good. This one's great. I love the hat in this one. It's a very nice sailor cap, all right? Uh, so you have to watch all my videos and really enjoy, uh, not all my videos, obviously, but you have to check out more than one. Now, um, yeah, so if you're a new subscriber, I've got lots of different talents, so not just one talent, and I've got lots of different types of videos, lots of different things. You're going to see a lot of variety, and I dress up as a woman, I dressed up as Molina most of the time, not most of the time, more as Marco, but you're going to see a lot of Molina videos. Now, when you see the Molina videos, you're probably thinking to yourself, this looks like a real woman, this is amazing. Now, when I'm watching my videos, I watch them back to back for a long period of time, I really enjoy them. So I watch them back to back. I'm like, this is really, really good. Now for me, because I dress up as a woman and look amazing like a supermodel as a woman, look like a supermodel as a guy, I usually flip back and forth very comfortably and say, not very comfortably, very, very, um, very um, interesting. I'm very interested to see, okay, so do I like Marco that day? Do I like Molina that day? Do I want to watch, I'll watch maybe 10 Marco videos and then I'll watch uh, maybe Marco's not what I want to watch right now. So I watch Molina videos, and I watch 10 Molina videos, and then I, I go back and forth, and I, or I go to the videos that I like the best, or I see ones that I try new ones randomly and say, hey, this is really good, I never saw that before. Um, and I was like, I haven't seen that since I made it or something, and I'm like, this is really good. Or I, I look at new ones that I haven't seen that I have zero views, and I think, hey, this is actually quite good, I'm surprised. Or I see ones that, that, you know, when I put out videos, I put a bunch out at a time. So the top video of the whole stack gets viewed the most, but there are some in between that don't even get looked at, and they're better than the one that I put on the top, but I can't always put the best one on top, right? So you might look through my channel, and it's like they have one view, ten views, zero views, uh, uh, maybe, maybe... 50 views and you haven't really looked at it because there's other ones with more views, right? So you're like, well, I'll watch I'll watch the one with more views. But you know, how are the ones with less views going to get more views unless you watch those? And some of them are phenomenal. Now that's common sense, obviously. Uh, but, um, but if you watch my videos with less views, you might be very surprised at how good they actually are. Okay, so just, just putting that out there, all right? So check out the ones with no views. The ones with no views are better than even my top ones, all right? Now I have one video with a lot of likes and a lot of uh, views and stuff. And that one was, has caught the eye of 
people that are watching my channel, which I'm really grateful for. And actually, I did my videos before when I did my first channel originally that got taken away because YouTube doesn't want adult natured videos. I was in Speedos and Bodybuilder Wear, which is not allowed. Um, and that they took it down, which I understand. They, want, they have a certain guideline to follow, a very strict set of rules. So um, I, I follow those rules now very, very well. But if they bring that channel back, you will see good videos there too. I'm not sure what they'll be doing with that. I mean, they're very, they're very strict with their guidelines. They want to make sure it's very safe for kids, which is obviously you assess them to mature if you did put those videos up. But they want to make sure those vi the videos you put up are, are PG, very friendly to every audience and all that, all, especially kids. So they want to make sure they do that. Now, um, saying that, they might bring back my old channel if they decide, you know what, we can set some to mature, some bits of channels to mature, and change your policies on whether we, on whether we pay these people on mature videos and whether we allow them. They might actually do that because there's so many people out there that put up mature videos, that put up videos and they have no idea that it's not allowed because they're thinking, you know, I'm, I look great, might as well show off and get views because that's what people think to themselves and a lot of slurs are advocating for more uh, more mature themes uh, in a mature, like the setting it to mature, they want to advocate for more mature themes, so they do. Um, so they no sir, so they're advocating for it, which is understandable, I mean, but some of the videos that celebrities put up are very risque and you're like, okay, you know, like how are you... How are you even putting that up now? I can't. I mean, I, for me, I'm an adult and I like those kinds of things. So to me, it doesn't bother me if they put that up there, obviously. I think most adults will feel the same way. But when there's kids involved, you can't, right? But, but a lot of celebrities are really advocating for that and wanting to make sure, hey, you know, we should make, we should make YouTube, have YouTube have maybe uh, some adult videos instead of mature. But of course, it is a lot for YouTube to organize if they were to do that, but maybe they could, you never know, right? But I have a whole bunch of videos from my past channels, and the channels are still there. They've kept them there. They just haven't uh, allowed me to use it, and they've just kept it suspended uh, because of the rules right now. So you never know, the rules might change. Maybe I can bring those back, and you guys will be really thrilled because I look really, really good in them. And I did very hard work for working out on how I looked and everything. Uh, but of course, as it stands, they don't allow it. And so that's not put up, that shit, those channels are kind of hidden away, and no one sees them, which is fine. I'm not really concerned about that. But it would be really nice if they allowed that kind of thing, at least maybe in another, another YouTube. Maybe they have a YouTube with... Uh, that permits those things. That would be kind of cool, you know. You know, they have the, the regular YouTube and they have the one that permits those things and those things get put on and then you're like, oh, that's cool. You know, I've always wanted to have a channel that got really successful because they work very hard on how I look. So, and I'm very comfortable on YouTube to perform like that. To me, it doesn't bother me. So, so to me, it's like really like, I, I mean, it'd be nice. And if you see some videos out there and you're like, holy, that's pretty, um, that's pretty risque. Uh, I'm very careful because I want to make sure my channel stays in good standing. Uh, but you see some videos, and to me, it's like I like those videos because they're fun. But but they're not allowed on YouTube, obviously. Um, but those people make those videos, and they don't know. And there's so many people that make videos like that; they don't realize. So maybe YouTube will one day change that rule, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, just so you guys know, I will just be doing a couple more videos. Um, a couple more videos, uh, just like advertising videos, and then I will continue on doing no videos until Monday, all right? Now, the videos on Monday are going to be spectacular, all right? But like I said, Melina's dress is not over the top. It's like, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll get it. Give me one second. So it looks really good. I mean, I think it looks really good. What do you guys think? It's a nice dress, right? It's a nice dress, but it's not like it's um, it's not like it's overly glam, right? But it's not bad. I think the lace is kind of nice, and I might raise it up and put a belt on. Uh, not sure what I'll do with that yet. And if the length looks good, then I might keep it that way. But I'm gonna put it away now. So yeah, so it's it's a nice dress. I think I think it's good. And you might have liked the one that I put on for the last couple of days too. They were the simple kind of dress too. I didn't go overly glam on those. 
at all. I kind of just went, you know, this is how it is. Here you go, guys. But it wasn't overly like sensationalized or glam. But I have glam dresses coming in in order. And new Marco shirts are, are arriving, all right? Not too many with my budget and all, but but I had to I had to get some new stuff that are like really nice. I had to, I was looking at some stuff. It is really nice, you will like it. Um, I bought three new shirts from Marco. Um, so one shirt is kind of like a Hawaii kind of, kind of like beach kind of shirt, uh, sporty at the same time. The other shirt is like a black sparkly, uh, shimmery, semi sheer uh, shirt, very baggy, baggy sleeves, very baggy, very loose. You tuck it in, it looks very, very nice. The other shirt is, um, I'm trying to think here. Oh yeah, so the other shirt is gorgeous. It's like a, a black, it's all black on one side, it's a button up shirt. And then blue and white decorated pattern, uh, kind of like geometric pattern on the left side or the right side, not your one side. So black on one side and blue and white geometric pattern on the other side. It looks really, really nice. I cannot wait to perform in those. So we're gonna get in really good shape for that, all right? Which I'm already in good shape, but just to make sure. All right, so lots to look forward to. And the Molina dresses, oh my, when you see those dresses that I bought, holy, they're gorgeous, all right? Uh, luckily for me, I'm able to buy dresses that are not too expensive. They weren't too expensive, but when you see them, they look, they look very, very expensive. They look very classy. They're very classic beauty. Um, they're quite, uh, they're quite uh, fitting. So Melina will look very, very good. She's got a good, she's in good shape. So she'll look very, very good. So you will enjoy all of that. Okay, thank you guys very much. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you guys love my channel. I'm really grateful. Um, tell your friends, share with the world. Uh, comment if you want. I really like comments. Uh, now, I don't say much unless you want me to say something, but it's online, so most people just say a quick thing, and that's cool. Just say something really quick. I don't mind. I really like that. Uh, if you see a video you like, comment. If you want. I, I don't expect you to, but it's really nice. I really like it. And I really like you guys to comment on how, how you think my look is, or how you think my ability to dance that song, or how I sang it, or... But bottom line, everyone, so if you like, if you like to view my videos because they're really, really good, then that's what I prefer, right? It's not like I care whether you think it's like you have to comment or anything or like them even. But if you're watching a ton, then I'm getting the sense that it's a good video, all right? So watching a ton and not saying anything, not even liking is good to me because I'm like, yes, you like it. Yes, you think it's good. I don't need any more recognition than that. But... I do like comments. I do like things to be told to me. Now, if you really think it's amazing and you think it's better than J Lo, better than better than Madonna, if you think this outfit looks like Madonna from Erotica era as Marco, or you think Melina's dress is really nice that day and you prefer it over other dresses, please tell me what dresses you prefer on Melina. I can re-perform in those dresses, but I will, like I said, I will be getting. I'm going to be getting about nine new dresses. All right, they're small, but they're they're, they're not too small, they're just, they're just mini dresses, all right? But they're really, really nice, they're classy, they're, they're fitting, they're fitted, but they're, they're, um, they're nice, they're, and I've got some, some uh, gowns as well, all right? So I've got one gown, it's like a green, green upper part, and then a black, and then a belt here, and then kind of like a black lace for the bottom, and it's like a shiny green, you will love it, it's going to be really nice. Then I've got a blue one with like, it's blue and lace on the top and like uh, goes up to here, goes up to here. It's kind of like mini, a mini dress. And then I've got uh, some other ones. Uh, I've got uh, a one that's really nice. It's got like a golden sun and it's got like, it's really form fitting and it's kind of like, it's a mini dress as well. It goes up to there and it's like, it's like uh, got sleeves and it's really, really nice. It's open here. Uh, it's open, uh, cut in a v-neck shape, kind of. It's really, really nice. Then I've got uh, a bunch of other ones, so you'll love those, okay? Um, now, okay, thank you. Okay, bye now.